A uh, really warm welcome to you all. Um, this is uh, obviously not quite how we would have liked to have done uh, this this particular evening. It was it was last year. It was a great opportunity to get all our parents in to talk a little about the curriculum with our year eights as they were then, um, and to to explain a little bit about the the situation where we offer a few choices going into year nine, uh, and that's really predominantly what this is about. Um, I'm going to say straight away to introduce to you, uh, Mr. Clark, who I think. You all know and Mrs Rodway most of you probably know as well who is our head of science. Um, Mrs Rodway is going to talk specifically about the situation with combined and separate sciences as students move into year nine and she's going to talk about that in a moment. So my role here is just to, to introduce and to say uh, you're very very welcome to ask any questions. Could you uh, put those in the chat and we will try and answer those if you'd like to at various points. Hopefully we will answer most of them as we go through um, and uh, also um, we are running a session at the end of parents evening as well so the reason for doing this now is that you then go into your appointments you might want to ask questions of teachers about some of the uh, the things that we talk about now and then you can come back at half past seven if you'd like to and we'll be here again to answer any questions that anyone has at that point so we're trying to make sure we get as much information out there in these circumstances as we can um, we're trying to concentrate on the curriculum but if you have got questions about reopening and things I'm happy to answer those uh, you should have got another email this afternoon one of many this week um, we're just about there and we're so much looking forward to having everybody back but um, uh, obviously it's uh, it's sort of tricky times from that point of view and I know there will be some questions out there feel free to put those in the chat as well if you'd like to. So um, just to to say then this this session is about the fact that as we go from year eight into year nine we think it is right that students get some choice about a few of their subjects and this is in anticipation of them having more bigger choice around their GCSE subjects next year. OK, so the choices they make now um, might mean that there are some subjects that they can't go on and do at GCSE, but they're subjects they're going to probably want to stop anyway at the moment. So we don't think it's a big kind of issue to do that. Um, on the other hand, it offers them the chance to pick up some subjects now that might give them a real insight into whether they want to carry those on at GCSE rather than having to make that decision a little bit less informed at this point next year. OK, so that that's really the kind of principle behind this. It's making sure that our curriculum works for our students, that ultimately they get the very best outcome they can by choosing the very best options that they can uh, as they go into year nine and beyond. So um, the subjects that there's a choice over are, are reasonably limited. All our core subjects continue, um, and that's uh, the most important thing, I think. And Mr Clark's going to talk you through all of that in a second. And then, as I said, Mrs Rodway talk you through the science side of it. So um, I'm going to sit in the meeting and, and see, see how this goes. And I, I'll say a few things just at the end to round things off. We know we have to finish by four o'clock latest because you're off into appointments. So we will, uh, without further ado, pass on to Mr Clark, who I think is going to share a bit of a presentation with you and, uh, and take over from me there. But thank you very, very much for joining. I hope this is useful and um, I'll speak to you again at the end of this uh, short session. Thank you, Mr Davis. I just have a bear with me. I'll be fitting between um, this and the lobby from time to time as people start to join and just seem to be let back in. But hopefully you should all now be able to see uh, a PowerPoint with uh, uh, a quote on it that says, we are our choices, a quote by Jean-Paul Sartre. Um, no. You can't see that. Um, I can see that, Mr. Clark. I think it is working. I think that's possibly a, a muting issue somewhere. That's great. Let me just go through and make sure we've muted people. I'll just do that one more time. I've been down the list. So the idea then is obviously Mr. Davis has spoken about is to offer a degree of choice. I'm just going to mute that one person. I can see who it was, but I'll spare them the embarrassment. Um, so I'm I'm coming to you this afternoon with live from South Sydney. So hopefully my internet will 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 uh, manage this and I'm also coming to you complete with um, lockdown haircut from hell so apologies for that but nevertheless hopefully this afternoon what we're going to do is um, get to the point where we can uh, explain what we are talking about when it comes to our curriculum and we say right from the start you'll probably be familiar with um, this quote that we aim high we're unashamedly aiming high we've done that all the way through lockdown and whilst I'm sure we haven't got everything right we've been quite proud of what we've done and the feedback the parents gave us has, has kind of endorsed what we've managed to do um, and I think it's time now as we move back in just to sort of move forward at um, at some pace but obviously with uh, the support that's necessary for the children uh, and the students involved on our um, year eight into nine options process so aiming high is is something we do right from the start and as Mr Davis has said before the greatest danger is not that we aim too high um, or not that our aim is too high and we miss it but that we're too low and we reach it so we're all about aiming high from the start which is why uh, the whole process is built around ACE 
So achievement, care and excellence are at the heart of everything we do and they remain at the heart of our curriculum. We're proud of the broad and balanced curriculum that we've got here at um, Great Western Academy and the options process moving forward is designed to keep that very much front and centre. It is what's going to get young people to the next stage of their education and finally through to employment and the phrase that I've used I'm sure with you before is this idea that it's the achievement, their, their, their exam results primarily which is going to get them to the door of any potential employer or university admissions tutor or apprenticeship provider um, but obviously it's the, it's the care and the excellence that goes with that and those skills that comes through the curriculum which will get them through that door. So that's just a bit of the vision, the values and the things I'm sure you're quite used to hearing from us. And just to explain then that a feature of the Great Western Academy, as Mr Davis has said, is that we do offer a selection of options subjects in year nine. The reason? Well, that gives them an opportunity to try things that they might not have, uh, that they, so that they might want to choose for GCSE and perhaps spend just a little more time doing the subjects that they enjoy and find interesting while still working within um, you know, a, a broad and balanced curriculum. The other thing it does is it gives them an opportunity to make some of those choices um, with perhaps lower stakes than they will have ne next year. So the year nines ahead of them have just made their choices in terms of their options for their key stage four programmes of study for their GCSEs proper. And I think this is a good practice for that, actually. And there are some things which go with that, um, which I'll talk you through in uh, a few seconds. So here, if you like, is a bit of a visual to help you understand the Great Western Academy key stage three uh, curriculum. Um, you can see that uh, we, we, we sort of pin the curriculum around our core subjects of maths, English and science, and then our foundation subjects that go along with that. But the permeating throughout is our skills builder skills, and they will continue uh, when we come back and into year nine. And of course, we have our successful eyes program, which the, the, uh, the students would know is their tutor time and our enrichment, which we very much hope will be back up and running, certainly in, in its fullest by um, sort of after Easter. And hopefully even before then, we can start to offer some options as well. So the curriculum very much stays the same into year nine as well in that sense but there are uh, as we've explained a degree of choices so hopefully this will help and like I say the recording will be sent out to you in due course so you can watch this back but there's no hurry on these decisions these decisions don't need to be made this evening in fact it's probably two or three weeks until we'll start to say to the students look let's make our decisions together using a Microsoft form but just to explain this you can see the coloured subjects there all continue so you've got our core subjects of math, English and science there um, with languages for those who are doing them. I know there are a small uh, group in school who aren't doing languages and the parents of those pupils will be contacted separately to explain what the process might be for them. But certainly understanding the process for them is going to be useful. And you can see the humanities continues with DTPE um, and PSHE. Then students are able to take some choices, five choices from um, that list that you can see there, which I've kind of magnified on the right hand side. I'm sure you can read it, but you can see the sciences are, are part of that choice. And that's what Miss Robway is going to talk you through in just a few moments. Um, the science team will direct separate science students towards the separate scientists, uh, sciences or, or, the, or the sort of uh, double sciences. And that's what Miss Robway will explain in just a couple of seconds. But you've got a choice there from MFL, art, dance, drama, music, computing, business studies, which would be a new subject for most people, as PE theory. I'm just going to escape out here for a second. Bear with me. Uh, somebody's taken themselves off mute. I will mute them. I have to scroll down my list and find who's got a uh, white microphone. And I'll turn them off if I can find them. There we go. I can see who that is. I won't embarrass them. But they are now muted. Hopefully you can still see the presentation I was working from. I don't have a red box around it anymore, so I'll just double check that. You'll need to share that again, Mr. Clark. It's It's gone. So. It seems to have cut out. Bear with me for a second. It takes my computer a couple of moments to work out where it was. Here we go. So hopefully you can see that again now yes. on the screen in front of you. Brilliant. So um, I'll hand over kind of at this point, actually we'll just finish off this for a second. I'll hand over in a second then to Miss Rodway. Uh, Mrs Rodway will explain the science part of that, but that's really where we're at. So it's not a huge amount of choice, as you can see, but it does allow um, the students to specialise, if you like, on that choice of, uh, of subjects over there on the right hand side. It is important to understand two things. Firstly, if you've not been studying a modern foreign language this year, then somebody um, from school will be in touch with, with you over the next couple of weeks and will work with students in school who are in that small group of learners just to steer them, um, you know, explain to them how this process works. So please don't panic if you're a parent of one of um, the children who are involved in that group. And also listen very carefully to the next part because Mrs. Robway is going to do the science bit uh, and explain how that works. And that is, that is definitely worth listening carefully to because science is the subject which does begin in September this year um, with their GCSE course. So hopefully you're still unmuted, Mrs. Robway, and uh, you're able to take the uh, 
take the reins up from here. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I've had some issues today with my microphone, so I'm going to hold it, which will look a little bit silly, but hopefully that'll allow you to hear me. Um, okay, so science, um, in the context of these choices, it means that if students are going to be in a class in year nine that is accessible for the separate sciences, that they will have one less choice. Um, so on their form, when they get their form, they'll have one less choice to make because one of those choices is taken by the extra science lesson. And the reason for that is that separate sciences has some extra content in it. So everybody at GWA from year nine is going to study GCSE science. All of our learners have that opportunity to achieve at least two GCSEs in science. And you can see on the table there um, that largely combined science and separate sciences are the same. Um, there's just some additional things in separate science. So if students study separate sciences, they um, sit exams for three GCSE qualifications. If they sit combined, then they sit exams for two GCSE qualifications. So the minimum that we're looking at students um, coming out of year 11 with is two GCSEs in science. In combined science, they will study the full um, national curriculum in biology, chemistry and physics, and it is seven hours and 30 minutes of um, exams. So it's no small thing in science, even for combined science. And then in separate sciences, they will study um, the same national curriculum. There is only one extra topic actually in separate science, and that's a space topic in physics. But there is some additional content in all the other um, all the other topics throughout years ten, uh, years nine, ten, and eleven. Um, there are also more um, more exam sorry, longer exam um, exams to sit. So it's the same number of exams, it's six papers, but the exams are longer. So it's 10 hours and 30 minutes in total of exams in separate sciences. There's also some more um, required practicals. Now that doesn't mean that students who sit combined science um, don't do those practicals because um, they will do those practicals. It's just that there are fewer practicals that they can ask them about in the exam. So in the combined science, there is fewer sort of core practicals they have to know about for the exam, but they will still do that investigative work because it's um, in combined science, it's still part of the, um, the programme of study that they learn all the how science works parts as well. So in terms of um, your students and how they, um, which course they should be on, it's largely um, down to um, their interest and their ability and how they are going to be the most successful. So are they going to be most successful sitting two GCSEs or are they going to be most successful sitting three GCSEs? And largely it's um, down to what they're doing at the moment. I think Mr Clark, if you want to pop on the slide, think it goes on to yeah <laughs> um, so um, if they are in set one so 8x1 or 8y1 at the moment those two sets there might be some jiggling because we're going to go from three sets uh, two lots of three sets so um, we've got set one two and three on the x side and set one two and three on the y side in year nine we'll have six sets so the top two sets will be um, separate science and the um, sets five and six will be combined science. It's those two middle sets that um, one of those will be combined and one of those will be separate. So if your student is at the moment in um, X2 or Y2, then those are the students that we need to have conversations with, um, talk to their teachers, conversations at home between you and them about their interests, um, particularly and whether they um, are interested in doing more science. OK, so um, in years 10 and 11, they will have the same number of science lessons. Um, doesn't matter which course they're doing, they'll have the same number of lessons, but they will have more content, which is why they get their extra lesson in year nine. OK, um, it's not possible to go from um, combined science in year nine to triple science to separate sciences in year 10. But it is possible to go the other way. So in year 10, if um, a student 
found that they were not coping with the extra content or with the extra revision, that they were struggling with all their other subjects, then it would be possible in um, you know, individual circumstances, in conversations with you, the student and their teacher, to um, possibly go from separate science to combined science, but not the other way. Okay. Um, one thing I want to make really clear about combined science is it covers all of the programme of study. It's not a soft option um, and it is accepted by all post-16 providers to access A-level science courses. Um, most of them would want a grade 6-6 six, six, um, in order to get onto A-level biology, chemistry or physics. Some, some providers would be 5s or 5-6. Five, but then if you did separate sciences, you'd need at least a grade six in that corresponding science. So GCSE biology grade six for A-level biology um, courses and usually um, a similar kind of grade in maths as well. Does it go on to the next slide, Mr. Clark? Yep, just there, hopefully. <laughs> it does. Yeah, OK. Um, I think that's you then, is it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think yeah. thank you very much. Well, where have you covered the science bit? I appreciate there's a lot to digest here, but actually it's not as complicated as it sometimes sounds. Um, so thank you for sticking with us. Uh, and as it says there, just to sort of um, read it through with you, really, the students will choose to continue with five of the following key stage three subjects in year nine then from that list, um, having had the, uh, the science part of that explained to you. Each of those subjects will be chosen um, and, and taught in one lesson per week from September. But please um, understand that what we will be doing, particularly now that we're delighted to have the students back on site, which really is very exciting. We've genuinely missed them. Well, most of them anyway. Um, what we will be doing with them is working with them and, and doing some, some work with tutors around these uh, these decisions which need to be made and of course students are encouraged to talk to teachers and that's why we've um, launched this event this evening ahead of the parents evening is that you might want to have a, a chat to some of the teachers this evening um, of the subjects on those lists if you're thinking you know you know talk to them about what the course might be like in year nine have a little think about perhaps you know um, whether your son daughter you know feels like that's something they want to start to explore um, as part of their choices and uh, and discuss that obviously with those staff members as you can. Um, as it says there, you can choose to continue a GCSE course in these subjects in year 10. You, you might choose to drop some of those subjects when you get to the this time next year, depending on the route you want to follow at GCSE, that's fine too. The only thing I will do is just um, add a bit of a caveat in here, which is that whilst we try really hard to do everything we can to enable the students to study their first choice options, um, I don't think there's a school in the country that can guarantee that there'll be no um, timetable clashes there. So I think we got all but two, perhaps three, I think, on their first choices last year, which is quite astonishing, really. Um, but there were a couple who uh, ended up taking their reserve choices and they're, they're, they're fine with that and comfortable with that. But it's just to have that caveat there whilst we do what we can. Unfortunately, um, you know, to, to balance it out for everybody sometimes can be quite difficult. So you might need to bear with this and work with this on a reserve choice there. So make sure you think carefully about that one as well. It's good practice for next year. Just to reiterate then what we will do from here is um, when the students are back in school, I did send out um, a Word document which accompanies this presentation. So hopefully you've had that by email parents. If you've not had a chance to yet, do check your emails. That was sent out first thing this morning. Uh, and those will be given in paper versions to students in school as well, so that they can um, remind themselves what the little descriptions are for each of these um, subjects. But eventually what will happen is we'll, we'll link them to a Microsoft form, um, which enables us to kind of collate the data in a much more straightforward way at the end. And that's where eventually they will make their choices. Um, just a quick reminder then before we kind of move on to the excitement of the parents evening, just a couple of bits of advice on do's and don'ts. As I say, this is good practice for next year, but it's also important to think about what curriculum they want to follow in year nine. So, you know, do talk those decisions through with the child, um, you know, perhaps this evening as you're going through the parents evening, maybe later on, um, perhaps over the next couple of weeks when they've had a chance to talk through with their teachers what these things might be about and what the courses entail, you know, but but ultimately encourage them to make their decisions if you can. Um, it, you know, ultimately it shouldn't really be what the parents want them to do. It should be what the students want to do, if I can put it that way. Uh, and obviously have a, have a, have a you know, a chat with them about thinking carefully about what they want to continue with. Um, please, as I'll come on to, um, you know, advise them not just to do a subject because their mates are doing it. That tends not to end particularly well. Um, and, you know, have, a, have a, uh, a go at discussing with them instead, maybe, the importance of um, them talking to their teachers about what they want to study in nine, uh, year nine and what that subject entails. And then um, ignore the half term break thing. I'm sorry, that's a legacy from the last last year. We'll probably be making these decisions in the next two to three weeks. 
and we'll send you a deadline out. But uh, don't worry if no if decision is not made by a child, we'll 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 uh, follow that up in school. And as I've said, don't just do what you made to doing. That's an important one for the students who are on board, and we'll reiterate that as we come back into school. Um, and don't ignore the need to make to make a decision. Otherwise, we'll have to start making decisions for people. Uh, and don't do it alone. Have a chat to people. Talk, talk to your friends. Talk to your older brothers, sisters. Talk to your parents. Talk to certainly to your teachers. And think about what the consequences of those decisions might be. Uh, might be. And don't forget, we're all here to help. That's very much um, what we're in the business of doing. So if I just quickly uh, come out of that one and stop sharing that one, just admit one person there who's dropped out of the call. Um, hopefully that brings us all back to the same screen with five minutes to go. And we've done as decent a job as I think we can do remotely on explaining to you how um, this all works. If you have questions, please do put them into the chat now. And um, what we'll do in the meantime is collate some answers to those questions. If you want, uh, if you want to come back onto this call, just follow the same link at half past uh, seven this evening after the parents' evening, and we'll just have a quick five, ten minute question and answer session then for anybody with specific questions. But do bear in mind, there's no hurry on this. It just we thought it was. A sensible idea to get this done before you went into your parents' evenings conversations this evening. Um, so we've got a good two, three weeks in order to turn this round, and that will be the work that we're doing with the children in school. I hope that covers what I need to cover, uh, Mr. Davis. I'll hand back to you to uh, sort of yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very, very much, both of you. I'm aware we've covered quite a lot quite quickly there, and um, please, please just ask us if you've got any questions, and we will be going through all this with the students. Like Mr. Clark said, we just wanted to contextualise parents' evening a little bit. So, um, and just to say one or two last things about those choices. What we're basically saying is that at the moment, art, dance, drama, music, and computing are subjects everybody does. Students can carry on with all five of those if they want to, unless they're doing separate sciences, which would take one of them out. OK, and they choose which one. We're not choosing that for them. But they choose it themselves because we think that's the right thing to do. If they want to do a second language, if they want to carry on with two languages, then they would lose another of those choices and be left with three. Now, we would really encourage most students to, to do those two languages. We think that's really, really important. OK, um, but they can choose just to do one, either French or Spanish to continue with or continue with both. So there's a lot. There is a bit more to this than we've got time for right now, probably. But I just wanted to, to encourage you to think carefully about it. It doesn't it opens doors, I hope, particularly in things like business and PE theory, which are new subjects that kids might want to do at GCSE. By doing it in year nine, they'll convince themselves whether they do or don't, which is one of the reasons for doing that. Um, and uh, it is that opportunity just to give students that little bit of ownership over their learning now, rather than have three years where we're telling them all the way through this is this is what you've got to do. So I hope that's appreciated. I realise we're running out of time and you've got to get to your appointments. Uh, like I said, any further questions in the chat um, or any time, just drop us an email and maybe we'll see some of you at half past seven where we're happy to have some conversations around how things are as well. But uh, I hope the conversations with, with teachers go well tonight and that it's all useful for you. Thank you so much for your support over the last eight weeks as well. Um, we could not have done all that remote learning without all that, uh, that support at home. So that's hugely appreciated um, and we can't wait to see them back on Monday. So have a good evening. I'll stop the recording, Mr. Clark. Yep, the recording has stopped. It's taking a while. Okay. Um,